Hello, everybody, and welcome to the GTN Smorgasbord, a truly global galaxy training event. My name is Saskia Hiltemann. I work at the Erasmus Medical Center in the Netherlands, and I am one of the organizers of this course. I'm very excited to have you all here. Over a thousand of you have signed up, and this will be an event that runs 24-7 across all time zones, and this is possible due to a global community of volunteer galaxy instructors. In this video, I will walk you through some of the logistics of this course and explain how everything will work this week. So what is GTN Smorgasbord? GTN stands for the Galaxy Training Network, and this is a global network of trainers who use Galaxy for training. Smorgasbord is a Swedish word for a, uh, a meal consisting of a lot of small dishes that you can then uh, get a taste of, and you can pick and choose which one, which dishes you like. You can skip some food that doesn't look good to you, or you can get a little taste of everything or focus on one kind of thing. Um, that's up to you. If you prefer a slightly simpler word, you can think of this as GTN tapas as well. What this means for this workshop is that during this week, you will be able to get a taste of all the different GTN tutorials um, that are available. We have tutorials on a wide range of topics and you can choose which are interesting for you to follow and which you'd rather skip. So the Galaxy Training Network um, is a network of many, many um, Galaxy trainers um, who have collected their training materials in a single place. Um, and we will use these trainings during this workshop this week. And there are over uh, 150 different contributors who have made over 185 uh, tutorials uh, across 21 different uh, topics. And over 50 volunteers from this global Galaxy training community uh, are here this week to help you uh, work through these tutorials. Now, before we start, I want to remind everybody that we have a code of conduct. And um, there is a link in these slides um, if you want to read it, but basically this means that everybody should feel safe and respected during this workshop. Basically just be excellent to each other. Now, if you encounter any issues or violations of this code of contact, um, please report them and you can read how to do that in the code of conduct. Okay, so the program for this week, you can read the full program on the course website, but basically we will start off with an introduction to the Galaxy platform itself and uh, the basics of NGS analysis. Then on the second day, we will dive into RNA-seq analysis using Galaxy and using R inside of Galaxy. Wednesday is a half day. We will cover single cell RNA-seq analysis. And uh, this is a short day, so it will give you some time to maybe catch up from the previous days if you need. And on Thursday, we will dive into proteomics and on Friday is a choose your own adventure day. So here we have a broad range of tutorials that you can choose from um, whatever sounds interesting to you. So the theme of this week is that you are in charge. It is an asynchronous event, which means that you can start whenever you want. You can take breaks whenever you want. You can end whenever you want. You can decide your own time. All of the tutorials have video lectures, so you can just start watching these whenever you want. The same goes for the program. If you are not so interested in certain tutorials, feel free to skip them. Um, if you don't have much time on one of the days, feel free to uh, finish that tutorial uh, the next day or even the next week. Um, you can manage your own time and we will be there to help you uh, if you need questions or if you get stuck. Um, on the Slack chat platform. Now, before you start, there are a couple of things you will need. So here's a link to the course website, which, which you should already all have. You're going to need an account on one of the uh, three main Galaxy servers. So we would suggest you choose the one closest to you. We have usedgalaxy.org uh, based in the US. We have usedgalaxy.eu based in Europe and usedgalaxy.org org.au in Australia. Each training session on the website will list uh, which of these um, Galaxy servers support this particular tutorial. Um, 
And lastly, you should join Slack um, so that you can ask any questions to uh, one of our instructors if you get stuck or if you just have general questions about the tutorial or about Galaxy. You should have received a link to join here via email, and if not, let me know. Once this course is over, everything will stay online, and then you should ask your questions, not in Slack, but in uh, the GTN Gitter channel, which we will also link to. Now, this is what the website looks like. Um, if you expand one of the training sessions by clicking on the top here, you will get everything you need. So you will see the video, you will see uh, some information about the speaker. Below the video, you see some more information and also which servers support this tutorial. So uh, most of the tutorials are supported by all of the main servers, but please check here if you can't find your tools, uh, whether it is supported on the server you are on. And below here, you see a link to uh, any supporting material. So any um, slides or tutorials that uh, the presenter uses will be listed here. And there's also a link to an FAQ document. So here we will put the most common questions uh, and answers in this document so that if you have a question, you can look there first to see if it has already been answered before. Okay, um, as I said, everything here is based on videos. So we have uh, some video lectures and some video hands-on tutorials where presenters walk you through uh, the tutorials step by step. You choose how to use these materials. Maybe you would like to just watch the instructor, or maybe you'd like to watch and follow along yourself simultaneously, or maybe you'd like to watch the video first and then try it yourself later on. Or not everybody likes videos. You are free to just skip the video and work through the tutorial on your own based on the, uh, the manual that is linked below. Now, just some quick notes about the video. So uh, all of the videos should have English subtitles. So you can turn those on using the gear icon at the bottom here on YouTube. Um, you can also change the playback speed here. For example, if someone uh, talks a bit too fast and you want to um, keep up because you want to follow along in Galaxy yourself, you can slow it down or you can speed it up. And you can also adjust the quality. So this is useful in case your internet connection maybe isn't, uh, isn't great. You can scale down the quality a little bit. Okay, then if you are doing these tutorials and you get stuck, um, you can get support from our instructors. And I want to encourage you to uh, ask lots and lots of questions. That's what we're here for. That's what this week is all about. There are no uh, dumb questions. Don't be shy, ask away. So there are multiple ways to get answers. One are the FAQ documents for questions that may have already been answered before, or you can ask our instructors on Slack. And of course, if you know the answer to um, the question of one of the other participants, please feel free to answer it as well. Now we have round the clock support on Slack um, due to uh, instructors from all time zones. We may have uh, certain time zones that have a little bit better coverage than other ones. So if you don't get an answer right away, please be patient. Someone will get to your question eventually. Now, this is what Slack looks like. Um, you see on the left here, there are a bunch of different channels. So we have for every training session, a dedicated channel where you can ask your questions um, relating to that particular training. There are also some general cha uh, channels such as um, general or social and here you can talk about um, things not related to a specific tutorial. Um, either you have general questions about Galaxy or about the course or you just want to uh, socialize with the other um, participants and the instructors, you can do that in the social channel. Now, if you get very stuck and you um, can't get a good answer, you can't really explain what the problem is, it is also possible in Slack to start a one-on-one -on -one calls where you can share your screen with an instructor. Okay, each day we also have an icebreaker session. Um, so we have a small question for you to, to answer um, on Slack. 
Um, this lets the instructors know how many people approximately have joined uh, today and have gotten started. It also is meant to sort of get to know each other a bit and encourage discussions. So feel free to respond to each other here as well. And also we have uh, some social sessions. So once you're done with the day, or if you just need a break, you can go to these channels and socialize. So there are things from uh, games and quizzes to just chats about a certain topic or just talking with, with each other. And um, so please uh, look at those in Slack. If you would like to organize something like this yourself, just let us know, we can make a channel for you and you can start your game, your, your chat, whatever your idea is. Now, we would also love your feedback. So if you have any comments, suggestions, compliments, complaints, did you see something, uh, spot a typo in one of the materials, please let us know. And there are two main ways to do this. If you have any feedback about the materials themselves, so the slides or the tutorial manuals, there is a feedback form at the end of the tutorial where you can give your comments. If you have comments about this specific course, about this week, please use the Slack channel named Feedback for that. And after the course, so after this week is over, all the materials that you see here today will remain online, so you can keep working with them. If you didn't have time to completely finish, or if you want to run them again later, you can always come back and do them again. Some of you have asked about certificates. These will be available upon request. Just make sure to do the icebreakers every day so you, we know you attended. And at the end of the week, we will send you a form where you can request your certificate. And also make sure to save the galaxy histories that you've created during um, this week, performing the tutorials, so that you can show us which, um, which tutorials you ran. And most importantly, have fun. Now, before we start, I really want to thank um, the Galaxy community. This has truly been a community effort, so a big thank you to everybody involved. Um, this week would not be possible without the many, many volunteers from the community. So this includes people who uh, you will see presenting tutorials here, uh, people who help out asking questions on Slack, people who've worked on the subtitles for the videos, people who have created the tutorials to begin with and the slides, people who've made the tools in Galaxy, and of course the administrators of the Galaxy servers who've worked hard to support all these uh, tutorials on the Galaxy servers. So next up is a video where you will meet some of your instructors. Um, this is not all the instructors. Um, some of them you will see later on in the week during the training session. Other you will see uh, on Slack answering questions and lots and lots more people have helped behind the scenes to make all this possible. So thank you. Hello, my name is Anna Syme. I'm based at the University of Melbourne in Australia, working for Melbourne Bioinformatics and the Australian Biocommons and developing a lot of training material for life science researchers. So I hope to see you in the training session soon. Hello everybody, my name is Florian. I'm responsible for the quality control session in day one. I'm a trained bioinformatician and I'm doing my PhD uh, right now at the Rolf Backofen Group slash Björn Gulen Group. So here and there, I'm helping out the Galaxy project here in Freiburg. And I'm doing half applied bioinformatics as well as also theoretical bioinformatics. So applying machine learning and creating some tools for data analysis. And I analyzed so far uh, ClipSec, ChipSec, AdaCSec, RNA-Sec, so a lot of data uh, over the years. Um, and hopefully I can give you therefore a lot of insights for quality control. I want to advertise very, very briefly a short side project which we have here in Freiburg, uh, which we started two years ago, which is called the Street Science Community Freiburg. It's an open science project. And we created this um, with the intention 
to bring to to foster the communication between science and the general public. So this is a two day workshop for pupils, students and really everybody who's interested. Um, we have done this because we saw that there was an increase uh, in spreading fake news and fears about science, which you really see right now um, during the Corona crisis. And therefore we wanted to foster this communication between science and the general public. And we carried this workshop where um, a group uh, of students or pupils or whoever wants to join um, extract uh, and analyze uh, yeast from um, beer. So we analyze the microbiome of beer using nanopore sequencing. And if you want to know more about this project, then please follow this link, the Street Science Community. Um, there you get a lot of information. It's the workshops are currently on hold because we have to set up everything online, which we are do, uh, which we are doing right now. But you can also help us, or uh, if you want to spread information about this project, then please do follow the link, and hope hopefully the workshops will continue this year. Thank you very much for listening, and um, yeah, have some really fun days. Bye bye. Hello, everybody. I'm Berenice Batu. I'm a postdoc uh, in the Freiburg Galaxy team at the University of Freiburg in Germany. I'm a bioinformatician. I mostly analyze sequencing data from RNA-seq or metagenomics, and I develop tools to facilitate this analysis, mostly in Galaxy. Um, I regularly give trainings on data analysis, and I'm involved in several training initiatives. So, for example, I'm coding with Saskia and Elena the Galaxy training materials project that you will use this week. And I will teach you this week the RNA-seq data analysis. So, I, I really hope you will enjoy this week of trainings and have fun. Hi, uh, my name is Fatsu Samopoulos and I'm a research at the Institute of Applied Biosciences at the Center for uh, Research in the Technology Alas in Thessaloniki, making Greece. Uh, my research focus is on bioinformatics and machine learning, but I spend also quite a lot of time in providing training, uh, both at the national and the international level. Uh, some notable examples include Elixir and the Elixir Training Platform, as well as the Galaxy Project and Erasmus Plus Project that is led by the Erasmus Medical Center in the Netherlands. Hello, my name is Wendy Bacon and I work at the European Bioinformatics Institute in Cambridge, UK. I am involved in single cell analysis and single cell research and single cell courses. So I'll be co-teaching a bit of single cell analysis later in the week. And I also really enjoy teaching martial arts. So that is my hobby. Uh, yes, looking forward to meeting you all. Hi everybody, I'm Emmett Techman. I work in the Freiburg Galaxy team and I will see you all on day three of the GTM. Hi, my name is Melanie Föll. I'm a postdoctoral researcher at the Institute for Surgical Pathology in Freiburg, Germany. In my research, I apply mass spectrometry to analyze the molecular tissue content of tumor samples. I've used Galaxy for a few years now to analyze my proteomic data and I'm looking forward to show you in the course how to do the same. See you there. Hi there. My name is Tim Griffin. I am a professor at the Department of Biochemistry, Molecular Biology, and Biophysics at the University of Minnesota. Um, my research interests are developing analytical uh, and bioinformatic tools and focused on biological mass spectrometry and then using these tools to apply them to interesting questions in biology and biomedical research. Uh, my laboratory has been involved in the Galaxy for Proteomics or Galaxy P project where we have been developing uh, galaxy-based tools for multi-omic analysis. Um, and also my part of my, my position is to direct the Center for Mass Spectrometry and Proteomics at the University of Minnesota, which supports research efforts uh, in biological mass spectrometry. Hello, my name is Sabina Mehta. I'm currently a member of the Galaxy for Proteomics team under PI Dr. Tim Griffin. My research interests lie in the application of analytical and bioinformatic tools focused on omics-based studies such as proteomics, proteogenomics, and metaproteomics. My current research focuses on developing 
proteomics-based analytical workflows in the Galaxy platform, debugging and maintaining bioinformatic tools, developing training materials for the Galaxy training networks and workshops, and also help in disseminating open source tools within the Galaxy platform. To know more about us and our work, please visit us at www.galaxyp.org. Thank you. Hello, my name is Pratik Dilip Jattab. I'm a research assistant professor at the Department of Biochemistry, Molecular Biology and Biophysics at the University of Minnesota. I co-lead the Galaxy P team along with Professor Griffin. My research interests include developing analytical workflows for mass spectrometry-based proteomics applications such as metaproteomics, proteogenomics, and DIA data analysis. My publications can be accessed through Google Scholar link or PubMed link. I can be reached via email or Twitter. Hello, my name is Selena Rasha. I am a teacher in higher education at Avance Hope School in Breda, and I am also a PhD student at the Erasmus Medical Center in Rotterdam. My background is in biochemistry and bioinformatics. I worked for some years doing phage genomics, and I, as part of that work, I started the Galaxy Genome Annotation Project. I've spent a lot of time working on visualizations and sort of workflow summarization tools, and these things are very important to me. I hope you have a good week. Hello, my name is Andrew Ocheski, and I'm a graduate student at the University of Minnesota, where I work in the Griffin and Tretyakova labs. My research is focused on the application of multiomics to inflamed systems, with a particular focus on quantitation of proteins involved in reading, writing, and erasing epigenetic marks. I'm also a part of the Galaxy for Proteomics group here at the university. For the Galaxy Training Network Smorgasbord, I'm presenting a proteogenomics tutorial focused on searching protein mass spectrometry data against custom FASTA databases. Hi, I'm Anne. I'm working at the University of Oslo in Norway as a research software engineer, and I'm developing tools and training material for the Galaxy Climate Workbench. I would be very happy to help anyone interested in the Galaxy Climate. See you soon. Thank you. Hello, I'm Anthony Bretodeau from Rennes, France. I'm working for INRAE, the French Agronomy Institute. I'm the sysadmin of uh, galaxy.genos.org and uh, usegalaxy.fr. I contribute to Galaxy and to GTN or IUC. And I'm also part of the Galaxy Genome Annotation Project. Hi, my name is Willem de Koning and I'm currently a PhD student at the Erasmus Medical Center in Rotterdam, the Netherlands. I am doing this PhD now for almost two years and I work on pancreatic cancer data. I did uh, studies in bioinformatics and for that I did an internship as well in the Erasmus Medical Center in Rotterdam and for that I wrapped tools into Galaxy for antimicrobial resistance and therefore I'm an instructor 